Yeah, he does. Pam, hit the brakes. Stanley does not have a muscle. <laughs> That just took me like 10 minutes and this is not even like centered or even. <laughs> I just swapped out this little artwork. There's like a blue picture of a desert behind it. But since I want a little bit more like black and white in here, I stuck that there. Then I have this empty frame that was right here. So I'm going to get a new picture to go right there. I have all these plants and I don't know where to put them. This one goes on that table. I just moved it over here for a second. This is a surprise that you guys cannot see for a little bit. I love this plant though. This is from Target. So right now I'm Googling how to put a duvet cover on your duvet. This doesn't have any ties in the corner. I have never had a duvet that doesn't have ties in the corner, so it's really hard to put it on and it doesn't stay. Usually Parker helps me. He went snowboarding today. I'm trying to just get it done myself. I have like no motivation to be cleaning right now, but I just have to get it done. <laughs> So that was not quite as hard as I thought. I thought I did a good job, but then I realized this whole side right here is like empty. So you guys can see that like this is empty and the corner is right here. So it's not quite even, but the other side is perfect. So that's good. But I'm really sad because this must have got washed with something and now it's kind of ruined. So that sucks. <laughs> cleaning I'm going to make some lunch I'm gonna make some soup so I figured I would kind of show you guys how to make it where's a pot this is like the easiest soup ever I think it takes like 30 minutes it's my grandma's recipe I haven't made it in a while so I kind of forgot but basically you just use like a whole thing of veggie broth I like to use a can of these white beans I'm gonna drain them also this rug that we got from Target is the best I still need to take the tag off but oh my gosh it's so freaking comfy a can of this salsa I accidentally got two out but I think I only need one Let's see if I can do this with one hand okay this is gonna be really hard oh, okay no nope, not gonna happen then I'm going to add in some veggies I have broccoli and then I'm gonna do zucchini and squash <laughs> veggies in here. I have like a ton of them. Then my favorite part, these are orzo noodles. They're so good. I don't really remember how much. I haven't made this soup in so long. I don't remember how much of these I like used to put in here. Probably good. Next, I'm going over to the spice cabinet. I'm gonna get Mrs. Dash garlic powder. I'm gonna put all this in there. Then I'm stirring it up and that's pretty much it. My grandma said only cook it for like 10 minutes, but I don't know if that's long enough. I'm gonna set my timer for like 15. I have it on high right now but i'm gonna turn it down to like medium and then cover it and that's it so this is what it looks like when it's finished it is seriously like the best soup ever i tasted it in 15 minutes seems like it's a good amount of time so yeah that's literally like so quick and easy so i'm eating that with my grapefruit don't know if that's weird parker always tells me that i eat like weird food combinations but i'm gonna eat this and then get back to cleaning <laughs> coupon a date night idea that we've been talking about for like a couple weeks now so basically we were going through our mail found some coupons and then we were like oh we want to go to all these places but we thought it would be fun to go to four different places but have it just get like one thing from each place still kind of a lot of food to go to four fast food places but i tweeted you guys and asked what you guys wanted to have us like talk about I wrote down a bunch of them and i have them in a hat so then each place we're gonna draw one out and i think this video is gonna be so much fun and i'm hungry and I'm excited. First stop is Wendy's. Okay guys, so we had a coupon for like $2 off a full size salad. Okay, I called drawing the first one. Okay, we had to like strategically plan out where to go first because there's like two different Wendy's and three different Burger Kings. Oh no, there's three Wendy's, huh? Anyways, we figured it out. Videography tips and tricks. Okay, so Parker and I have been thinking lately that we actually want to do some sort of like videography workshop so it would be an online mm. workshop we've had some friends do like photography workshops and stuff oh we should have asked for two forks oh did they only give us one i don't know it's fine Dang. i'll eat with my fingers okay anyways and oh, my least favorite cheese in the world all over blue cheese is good i'm sorry please pick it all up babe i really am it's not gonna no no, no. 
Don't Please. put that up there. Put it on the side down there. Babe, I got. <laughs> What's that? What's that? Right there. Up. Where? That. This? Yeah, what is that? A piece of blue cheese. Oh, get it. Where were we? Talking about a videography workshop. Yeah, we're gonna make one. What are, what are we gonna make one on? We have a couple different like, ideas. Yeah. We wanna do one on like videography for like travel diary stuff, but we've made a lot of travel diaries that I haven't posted. So we need to add more like work to our portfolio before we yeah. do it. But we are planning on it. So if you guys haven't ever, where'd the fort go? Oh, if you guys haven't ever seen like videography or just like any type of workshop, it's basically like an online thing. So it's kind of like an online course. I will show you how we do what we do. So I think that'll be fun. We're trying to decide when we wanna do it. Cause right now we're just trying to like get organized with our lives, but we also want to do it soon. We also want to do one for like iPhone videography. So just how to make like cool diary or cool like travel diary footage on your phone. So we're planning on coming out with those in the next couple of months. We'll probably start working on it in April. I don't think I've ever had a Wendy's salad. We're really good. Do you guys say pecan or pecan? What do you say? I say pecan. This salad though is an A plus. It said they had a taco salad and I would want to try that if it was vegetarian. I have a coupon for $3 chicken fries and one large French fries. All right, total 322 Sacramento. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'll pick the next one. Being married young. Your chicken fries. This is jalapeno a large... chicken fries. I didn't ask for jalapeno. How is this a large fry? Here's your I'm, barbecue. I'm super sauce. excited to try these. There's only one, so you get half. What do I have to say about? <laughs> that's my half. What do you have to say about being married young? I didn't think I'd ever get married this young, for one thing. But you just stole my heart. Aww. It's it's very it's really fun, but there are definitely challenges. My advice, if you are to get married young, don't be together as much as. Yeah, it's hard to be together all the time. Yeah. We've said that before. You a butt heads times. a lot. It's important to find your thing that's like your own thing to get yeah. away and have your own space. I'm sorry, they're hot. I feel like I remember saying that I didn't think things would be different, but they really are like so different. They're but I a feel lot like it's. Different. I feel like it's taken us a long time though to like realize that they're different. Just in terms of like maturity and stuff and like what it means to like be married. Oh yeah. Like definitely. you know, we knew that it would change things when we got married, but at the same time I feel like I remember us saying like, Oh, it won't be like that different. Like we'll live together but it won't be that different. But yeah. I feel like we've realized that it really is like so different just in the like what it means to be married. Definitely. I'm trying to think of like a specific example, but like hanging out with your friends. If I wasn't married, I'd probably be hanging out with my friends like a lot more. <laughs> When well, you could still go hang out with them all the no, time. No, like I, I know, but like, I never say like, don't go hang out with them. You know. I know, but how do I hang out with them when we're on the other side of the world? How know? are the chicken fries? They're good. I wish that are they were they? a little like harder. Like they're flimsy, you know, like oh. soft. I feel like our advice for people who want to get married young: for one, make sure that you're financially stable. Like that's just important. For two, make sure you really know each other. In Utah, a lot of people get married like super, super quick. Literally, sometimes people within like six weeks are like married. Make sure that you like know your spouse. Maybe they do get to know each other all the way in six weeks. I don't think I could get to know someone in six weeks, but we just don't want any surprises, you know? Yeah. Like bad surprises. You just have to like mature a lot. Cause like sometimes if we're like fighting, I'm like, oh my gosh, why am I acting this way? This is so immature of me. But like when you're young, sometimes it's hard to like yeah. be mature enough to pull yourself out of that and to handle something in a really mature way so that's a struggle with being young it's harder to like be mature when you're young you don't yeah. know as much you know definitely Why? dude i'm saving my appetite for mozzarella sticks what other advice do we have learn to get over the small things like when people leave their messes out you shouldn't get mad you are just freaking eating this up because i'm just saying all the stuff I that know. i do wrong <laughs> should we go on to the next place go to arby's i have a coupon for a four piece mozzarella stick for a dollar 99 can i get two orders of that this is so fun okay I'll pull the topic out on this one. How to deal with friends drama in high school. I probably shouldn't be the one to answer this because I just completely avoid drama. I'm never yeah, I'm never like ever in any drama. So Me either. I feel like I'm just friends with everybody. I don't really have drama in high school. I always avoid drama too. Both me and Parker are kind of like the same like that. Like we really don't ever, ever, ever. Can you imagine if I was like one of those girls that just always like was involved with drama? <laughs> you would not you are. Like me. No, I'm not. What drama do I ever have? How's your mozzarella stick? I haven't even gone to buy yet. So good. Is it? Mm. I didn't know Arby's had mozzarella sticks and they're so good. These are probably fresh too. They're so yummy, huh? Staying away from drama. My Sweet. advice is worry about your life and only your life. Don't worry about anybody else's. Mm -mm. Does that even make sense? No, it made no sense at all. Okay. Just cut that whole story out. <laughs> okay, we'll <laughs> it was, cut it. It's just not fun to like have that in your life. Mm -mm. Like I would rather have no friends and have friends that are like filled with 
drama. Like there's always, you can hang out with your parents, you can hang out with your siblings. In middle school, I wouldn't say that I was bullied because I feel like that's really extreme, but I definitely had girls that were like mean to me and I would like come home from school and cry because I would be sad. Really? You didn't know that? It's weird because it was so long ago, so I feel like I just don't even think about it anymore, but I definitely like had girls be mean to me. I'm just like, I've like never had friends. That's like weird. I've never had like a group of friends that I've been friends with for like a long time. I've just always been friends with everybody and I'm always just like the odd one out of each group. I'm your friend. <laughs> Thanks, babe. I was Thanks. a different way. I was friends with everybody. And I had friends in every friend group. Well, I had like all the groups of friends. They were like best friends and would always hang out and I would hang out with them sometimes. But it was like I hung out with a bunch of different groups of people sometimes. Yeah. What else? But I feel like it wasn't because I was like the crazy friend. Yeah. Like you know how there's just like people who don't really have a lot of friends but it's just because they like are drama. Like I wasn't like that. So yeah. I don't know why I didn't have any friends because I was freaking cool. I don't know. I just like never fit in with any friends ever. Staying away from drama in high school. Stay away from it. Yeah you just have to like be strong enough to realize like I don't want to hang out with these people. Be confident enough in yourself to I know that having a million different friends doesn't make you cool. Alright we're gonna head to the next spot. Where are we going? Ooh we're going to get ice cream. I have a buy one get one free coupon for uh two or for a regular concrete mixer. We have our ice cream. We're at our last stop. This was like four dollars. So this is like twenty dollar date night. For two of these was four bucks. I'm gonna buy one get one free. These are good. Parker got Oreo, I got Reese's. These are good. This is so good. Hey, we didn't even have to give him a coupon. Oh yeah. Weird. We're coming back. So our topic is veganism as we eat ice cream. Veganism? So somebody, That's a topic? I thought someone tweeted me. I'm not vegan. Neither am I. Uh, neither is Aspen. I eat everything that I can get my hands on. What do you think of veganism? I think that if that's something that you want to put your efforts towards and you want to do, that's great. And I'm so for it and like, go do it, you know? Me, myself, personally, like I'm fine with eating meat. I'm fine with doing, I'm fine with eating how I eat. Are you happy with like your diet? Or like, not diet, but just the way that you eat? Like, do you feel like you I think I should, healthy? no, I think I should eat less. I eat a lot of this crap, but my body doesn't get fat, so I can eat this stuff. <laughs> That's so, not the only thing to think I about. I just, I know, it's not the only thing, but I mean, <laughs> maybe later in my life, I'll start to get fat from eating this, and then I'll like meal prep and work out harder. For right now, I'm just taking advantage <laughs> of my fast metabolism. Like I've been telling Aspen, I wanna get on like a meal plan and get like all the meal little tray things and like prep every Sunday, just like cook. I'd like to see what my body could look like if I actually, did a, did a meal plan. I always get people asking if I am vegan because sometimes we'll talk about vegan stuff, but I'm not. I don't label myself as anything because I don't have to. The only time I ever eat meat is like once a year, twice a year maybe. I go to McDonald's and get bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit and it's like the best day of the year because it's so freaking good. My body feels best when I don't eat dairy. So like this is a special treat. Like it's Friday night. This is our date night. It's a special treat, but I don't eat this like every day. But I definitely feel like my body feels best when I eat eat plant-based food so that's why I eat plant-based food. I totally applaud people who are totally vegan because I always that's, That takes try. a lot. That's actually, that's really impressive. Yeah, like, no, for traveling definitely. I will always try to like find something vegan. I'll always try to find an option that's vegan or at least plant-based or whatever but it is so freaking hard especially if you travel as much as we do. I can't even imagine if I like totally was fully vegan because I would not, it would be so hard to find anything. The other day when we were in Necker Island they had like quinoa burgers that were oh, vegan yeah. but then the bun had butter in it. So I'm like, um, I don't want to just eat a freaking quinoa patty. I want to eat it like with lettuce and tomato and ketchup on a bun. I want a burger. But I think it's freaking awesome. I actually just got a vegan recipe book. I follow a lot of like vegan people on YouTube and on Instagram and I love all of their stuff. But I actually just got a vegan recipe book and I'm really excited about it because I have like three or four recipes that are the only things I ever cook and they're my go-to thing. So I'm excited to like expand it. I just think you shouldn't ever judge anything anybody yeah, else does definitely. and it's not my responsibility to like tell someone that they should eat a certain way. That was one of the topics in the thing was like the ugly side of being an influencer. And that's one is people expecting you to like use your platform a certain way. Not everybody is comfortable doing that. And I think that's totally fine. And I'm not like obligated to do that just because I have a following. I think that um, we will, we have a, quite a few more. We have more topics. Topics, but I think that we're gonna pull those out in, a, in another video because this one's already so long. Yeah, it is. So anyways, I don't know what we're gonna do tonight. We might do something fun. It's Friday night. We gotta do something fun. So anyways, if you guys like this video, like this little segment, then comment down below, let us know. I thought it was really fun. If you guys wanna like do this, even if you, cause most people probably aren't gonna like vlog it and like have these topics, but 
when we were like dating and stuff, I would always Google like relationship questions and just like stuff like that because I thought it was so fun. So you could totally Google stuff like that, cut them out or print them out, cut them up, stick them in a hat. Still do it, just like not a vlog version, you know? But this was so fun, 20 bucks, like 10 bucks each. Friday night, date night, good times. Comment down below any other topics you want us to talk about if we do this again and if you want us to do this again. Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. We will see you next time. Bye guys. Oh, oh, oh.